Greetings, Croft Dash here, the spiritual boxer. <laughs> and like the little rant I did yesterday, I'm feeling very spiritual. So I've been thinking about things, man, because it's got me, got my mind going. And when they say boxing is a lonely sport, they're right. But when you retire, it's even lonelier. But you find out who's in your corner and you learn a lot. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who blow smoke up your ass, pat you on the back, tell you how great you did and all this lot. And then behind the behind your back they're sticking two fingers up or stopping you from doing things. And I found <laughs> during my depression after boxing how people who you thought was would be there for you are and the people surprise you who you'd never think are there for you they're there for you and it's it's great it shows you who's, who's actually got your back and who's in your corner and like now things are coming to light like i say it's with the Xboxes, Leeds Xboxes, there's um, Mr. Vince, who had the Sportsman pub. And I remember you had Henry Warren up there first. And what happened? The story I got told is don't go in the pub until they changed and put me up there. Now, have you been holding that vendetta ever since? But what you forget is you've gone into an area that I was brought up in, Errol's. And Errol's lads stick together. But, you know, I don't understand how people can't be honest and truthful straight to your face. You know what I mean? I prefer that. <laughs> And I think that's why I like boxing. Because I spent most of my life, well, my professional career, in a pair of shorts, some gloves, standing in my truth. You know what I mean? So, everybody can see who I am. I don't hide anything. And I don't think I should have to. So, the people of Leeds, there's some people out there in the boxing game who really they don't give a shit. You know, they say they'll give you an hand. The only time they're going to give you an hand is carrying your coffin. So all you ex-fighters out there who are struggling, I don't know what to say because there's no organisation for Xboxes that looks after them that wants to basically be there for them you know like have a drop in centre not a jolly boys club you know somewhere where they can go and just sit down and have a chat somewhere where it's I don't know but I think the way these so-called people who are looking out for boxes, you haven't got a clue. You know what I mean? You're doing it for yourselves. It's all this patting on my back. Look what I've done for him. Look what I've done for them. Well, one of my favourite quotes is from a man called Bob Padgett, my old trainer. Every day do a good deed. If you get found out, it doesn't count. That's how I try to live my life. Anyway, if you can't be yourselves, just be brilliant. That's just another, just wanted to say a few things there. So not really about boxing, but about boxing as well. And I um, could mention a few names, but they'll come in story time. I might still start telling some stories about, yeah about these so-called people who talk to me like I'm a superstar and then just blank me or I'm an afterthought 
you know, they've got a show on, they'll see me, just randomly. Oh, will you come on Top Table? Oh yeah, I'd love to. When is it? Tomorrow? No. <laughs> see you later, mate. Anyway, again, till tomorrow. Bye.